So here I am on the mill and I have tried to figure out the best setup for holding this guy here. And I think I had it like this. Uh, because otherwise it tips if I don't have these supports. And I think I use uh, an L cheapo here first, a tin coated 10 mil end mil. 10 millimeter end mill. Try to sneak up on that to get the radius here also. Uh, yes, I think so. So it'll be too long to come in here. And too long to come in there. So I should so first take this and then go like that. I could plow it all the way through here, but I won't have a little radius here. So I use 10 mil collet for that. But better yet, I think I will use this guy here because this has a radius. We can just plow through. Later I'll switch to another 10 mil. Yep, that's what I do. So this gives a, a better view, I think, of the situation. So tighten the drawbar. We'll round the mill out. This is a bit noisy. I can take it manual. Turn this guy around to see 90 degree mark there. And then we can also latch this in position. This is for 15 degree increments. And we tighten this one and then undo the latch again. Now it's 90 degrees and the head here is also zero so it's perpendicular to the way there or here and then we can mill and then is the room enough over here so if i go all the way here Yes, and then in, this way again, yes, it seems to be okay, there is clearance, I'm wondering about the clearance here, but that should be okay.
begin to different positions and then if you watch that now so that it locked it in 90 degrees there so then I will fetch those rods support rods And then of course I have only that long arbor, so that'll do. I'll fix up that from the rear. Usually I put it in back here, now I just fasten it loosely. And uh, because of the, the long overhang here, I'm a little bit skeptical, but let's see. And then the, I can swing the head around to its most common position, so I don't need to. And zero. I can lock it there also. Now we can. Okay, like that, and tighten this to so there we are the head tucked firmly into or seated into the column there that's the setup i want It's plastic, POM, and uh, it's just uh, not very uh, aggressive feed and speed. So I'm down feeding just the amount needed, 3.5 millimeters, and I'm going back and forth cutting actually with uh, not against and uh, when I'm dividing now I have uh, 26 uh, teeth so it's um, according to the chart here it's 26 teeth 3 rounds and 18th of the 39 circle so I have the 39 circle here and I do one, two, three plus eighteen there. I'm feeding again and I'm using the 3.5 millimeter depth and I'm doing this uh, uh, with with feeding or what is this English but it's just POM so not too afraid of that and not aggressive feed nor speed I'm doing a long long uh, 
Okay. So it's uh, again and one, two, three, and here, and then around, and one more until I'm done. Actually, I think it's performing better on the low speed rate and the lowest possible non-geared speed even though it's a bit high on this cutter I think it actually performs better and this is a little bit of runout here also 